Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on my Mercury here. Uh, still haven't welded in the uh, trunk floor. Got more work to do. So you can see I painted my frame rails, used that uh, Rust-Oleum stuff just with a foam brush. Um, one thing that you can do, you can use uh, aluminum foil to wrap your exhaust. And then so when you're painting around frame rails and stuff, you won't get that dripping down onto your exhaust, which will burn off anyway. But let me show you one thing you don't want to do with uh, aluminum foil. You don't want to just put it over rust. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. So as I was cleaning up this quarter panel to get ready to be welding in the drop off that I made, uh, I found whoever had done this previously put some heavy duty aluminum foil over the rust and then Bondo over that. So I don't know why, I'm trying to think of like why you would do that. And I guess in this situation, it's better for me than if they had just put Bondo right over the rust because then I wouldn't be able to get it off. At least once I peel off the uh, aluminum foil, you know, the, the, the Bondo is not stuck to the rust. But obviously, I'm gonna have to cut some of this out and replace it, um, and get it clean, get it back, back down to bare metal. And I don't know, has anybody ever heard of this before? I just, I just don't understand why somebody would do it. It's it, the metal is actually not that bad. It could just clean it up, sand it, get the rust off of it, and treat it. It just doesn't make sense to me. If anybody knows why, maybe like I said, so the bondo doesn't get stuck into the rust. Maybe that's why somebody would do it. If you have another idea, let me know in the comments. So that's how not to use aluminum foil, but you can use aluminum foil for certain things. Just not as a permanent addition to your car. All right, thank you, bye.